how we doing this evening, everybody? Look here. I have, uh, this jig is for a customer, first of all, but I had a subscriber that, that commented on a video and, and messaged me wanting to know how I build my thread up, you know, around the head right there. See, just like, just like that. See, oops, sorry, I didn't do it on that one. Give you the wrong one. Okay. So how I build my thread up, just like that at the base of the head. And y'all know I talk about it all the time. To me, that's a big deal on these jigs, y'all. That is one more color to attract that bite. And over the years, I have learned that if it's me, unless a customer literally ass, you know, says, hey, look, I don't want it built up. Every jig that I make, I build that thread up around the head. And you can see all the way around it's built up. All right? So, when somebody asks me a question and, and they're trying to build jigs and and get it going herself, you know, hey, I'm more than happy to help out, you know, because I've been there at one time, you know, and the guy, I know I've said it several times, the guy that actually taught me, well, he was, I don't know, in his 80s, and uh, he wasn't very helpful. So basically, when I learned to tie, you know, learn the basis of tying, it was like maybe five minutes, and I just sat, you know, in the shop and, and tried different things, and finally learned, you know, the basis of it. And then over the years, I integrated my own style. So everybody has their own style of tying, you know. And a lot of people say, man, you come up with some weird colors, yada, yada, yada. But thing about it is, you know, I take these things out, y'all. This is no joke. Each one of my jigs, I literally take it out, you know, and test it out. See if that sucker, you know, if it catch fish, you know, I take them out on many, you know, all kind of different conditions, windy, rainy, murky water, clear water. You know, I try out each one of my jigs, even if it's, you know, one that somebody special orders, I make a couple for myself, you know, because heck, I get a lot of customers, you know, that order things and I've never thought of them colors, you know, but heck, they work like in Kentucky or Tennessee or Ohio. I've never heard of them, but hey, lo and behold, I'll build me two or three of them, and the next thing I know, I'm showing it on, you know, on my channel or whatever, and heck, we selling them like crazy. So look, I appreciate that. Look, today, we are going to build the Ghost Mina. The Ghost Mina, y'all. Now look, y'all know who I got to do something a little different. Got to be tied with that red thread now. Got to be different. All right? So we're going to start with a little tagline, about three inches or so, two to three inches. Oop. We're going to start wrapping, right? So this is a brand new, I'm glad that happened. I literally put this roll of thread. It's brand new. I took it out of the case over there, and it's literally brand new. All right? And I always pull it out always it's at that time i got to talk and i forgot about it i cut off about the first foot of it all right so this is a flat waxed did you see how that slipped on a hook it literally slipped and about the first foot or so of a brand new roll of thread is not going to be waxed you know so that's the first thing i'm glad that happened on live video that way you can see, you know, you can learn from my mistake. So the first couple of feet of that brand new roller thread, always cut that off, y'all. It may have a little bit of wax on it, but it's not going to have a bunch. All right. Look at that. Flash of Boo Magnum, 132nd. I talk about it all the time. You know, it does say 132nd on the package, but there are some, you know, that are not quite as wide. All right, Flash Boo Magnum. I get that from flyfishboo.com or Barlow's. All right. I like the Magnum. 
because it's a little bit wider and a little bit thicker and it does stick out, y'all. It makes a difference to me. All right. We're going to fold that right around the base of that head and it's holding by that thread. You see that? We're going to wrap that sucker all the way down. Now, well, you don't want to do that. They got caught on the other side. So you want one, you want it, one on both sides of the hook, right? You don't want it all on the same side of the hook. So I got one on this side of the hook, one on the other side of the hook. That's the way it lays. All right. Now, as always, you do not want them the same length. Remember, they will stick. I promise you they will stick. I see it every single day. All right. See the difference in length? It ain't. It don't take much now. We ain't talking about no inch or no, not, not even a half inch. Just a tiny, 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 tiny bit. All right. So look at that. The ghost minnow, y'all. This is synthetic bucktail, uh, and it come in. This is actually twelve inches. All right. That side of it is 12 inches. It's looped around, as you can see. Uh, this side is 12 inches. Uh, we're using a, uh, <clears throat> a 1 8 head. So we're going to take half of that. Uh, roughly 6 inches. Okay. I'm going to put it back in my drawer. I said roughly 6 inches. And that's about what that is. All right, we're going to fold in half, okay? You see them old crazy things just hanging way off? Go ahead. You got any real crazy ones? Cut it off, okay? I'm going to go ahead and fold this another time. So I'm going to cut it. It just makes it easier to handle, y'all. That's it. Literally easier to handle. All right. I folded that thing a second time. Or third time, I'm sorry. Uh, and you're going to have a few little loose pieces. So I always take my hand run through there like that, right? Uh, lay that bad boy on the back of that hook. Get you a couple of light wraps. Good thing about this is not like marabou or something like that, you know, you're going to, uh, see, I missed that. Pull you some slack out, then catch it. It's not like marabou, you know, where, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's hard to catch, whatever. I mean, it's pretty easy. And it, it also, when you put it on that hook, it literally, it pretty much stays right there. So like the marabou, or if you're tying with a neck hack or something like that, you know, put you a couple of light wraps on there until you get it exactly where you want it. Because them, them neck haggle, it will move, y'all. And you don't, you know, you don't want it all lopsided. You see, I got a couple of wild hairs. What they call wild hairs, y'all, sticking out. I went ahead and trimmed that off, okay? All right. Now. I'm going to run that sucker all the way back up to the top. Because <clears throat> I miss a couple of places. I don't like doing that. I like to have a nice, even layer thread from start to finish. I say start to finish, base of head, tip of the hook. All right. Nice, even layer thread. All right. When you tie that knot, right, make sure... Put you some tension on there, right? Put you some tension on that bad boy. Okay. We don't want it like, you know, like a bleeding shiner, nothing like that. I could use red accent, you know, or crystal flash, but I'm not. I'm going to use just regular silver crystal flash. That's six inches, y'all, on one side of it. Sometimes it will get stubborn with you. I hold it just like that.
come down here to the base of it and cut it, okay? Put that bad boy back out of the way. Now we're gonna fold that. We fold it in half once. All right, see how I wanted to get crazy on me? Just run your fingers through it. Ain't hurt nothing. I fold it in half twice. Where I folded it, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. It's just much easier. Sometimes you see me cut it, you know, after I put it on there, but it is easier to cut it before you put it on there. Just a little helpful tip. I lay that sucker on there, get it where I want it. Nice, tight wraps all the way. Cover that whole bad boy up. All right, to the base of that head, and then go all the way back to the tip of that hook. Woo wee, man, I can already tell you. Them crappie gonna love this bad boy. Woo, to the wee, y'all. And you see, I'm literally pulling every time I tie that knot. I want to make sure that that sucker ain't going nowhere. You seen it pull the whole hook up. All right. And y'all, these jigs, I use these jigs on a daily, daily basis. I got jigs out there in my box that have literally been through, oh Lord, been through a lot, let's just say that. All right, New Age Chanel, it's black and silver, y'all. This package got wet, it's hard to read, but it's just New Age Chanel from Barlow's, all right? And it's uh, black and silver. So, I'm gonna take my fingers, I'm gonna strip some of that Chanel off down to the bare thread, you see that? And you want to lay that sucker right on top. You want as much as possible. See, I missed that thread. Pull you out a little slack. Then you can catch it every time. All right. You want to cover that thread up. Just like you did your daggum, uh, you bucktail. All right. When I strip it back now, I cover the thread up. Then I do go back to where the Chanel is. That way I know that sucker is tied in, y'all. Put a little knot in there. A lot of people say, you know, well, why don't you do a whip finish every time, you know, when you stop? Well, basically that's what it is, is a whip finish. The reason I do that is because I don't use any adhesive. Huh? I was taught to tie jigs with adhesive, but I don't like adhesives anyway right there a piece of this little uh flash got caught in there so i just pulling it out now i like a nice even body uh some people double it up triple it up whatever i, I don't like that uh, i'm not saying nothing bad about the way they do it but that's just not my style now you see me this is all the way to the base of the head, right? All the way to the base of the head. And that may be, you know, your problem. Uh, you know, thicker Chanel, you're going to have to use more thread. I mean, that may be the problem why it's not building up. I'm going to do a couple of wraps in the front. Switch around, a couple of wraps in the back, all right? Now, I'm putting tension on that now. Couple wraps in the front, couple wraps in the back. All right, maybe I'm going a little overboard right here, but I don't want that Chanel going nowhere, all right? Now, my handy dandy curved scissors. I just talked about them in my last video. Reach around there, bam. I know it's good, it's right up against the edge of that, and I ain't even gotta really look at it again if I don't want to. But Anyway, now, make sure you hook straight. Uh -huh. Pull you out about four or five inches. Catch that top, catch the bottom. Start wrapping. Now, I'm feeding it. Watch this hand right here. I'm feeding that thread, okay? Now, you are going to use more thread. Uh -huh. I do it about four or five times. Push the bottom in. 
It pops out the bottom, pull it down, it pops out the top. Now, you can start seeing that red right there, but that ain't enough for me, y'all. I like to build it up, right? So, this is where I think maybe the confusion is because, you know, you're wrapping around, you know, just like wrapping it around circle. So your your thread should be even, you know, the whole way around. So now I did that about 12 times or so, but I want that to really stand out. So basically, I think it's a mount of thread that you're using, but you see me go all the way up to the base of the head with that Chanel. All right. Let's see here. Woo! Boy, him crop be jumping in a daggum boat. Look at that, y'all. Golly Moses. Hey, nice even thread all the way around that head. It's not, you know, one side and lopsided. It is literally all the way around. Check that out. Woo-wee. I cannot wait. I got a trip tomorrow, y'all, and I guarantee that's the first jig I'm going to put in the water. I guarantee you, I have a crappie on that hook within three or four minutes. Hey, look, guys and gals. This is for a gentleman that asked me, you know, some questions. He had some questions. He started uh, making his own jigs. Look, I'm proud of you for taking that step and wanting to make your own jigs. I hope this answered all your questions. Look, if any, any one of y'all have any questions, you want to see something special, want to see how I do it, you know, hey, do not hesitate. I do not mind at all. I will jump right on here when I get a chance, and I will make it happen. Look, God bless each and every one of y'all. I truly, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate each and every one of y'all subscribing, watching, and commenting. Hey, y'all share these videos. Let's build this community. Let's build a TCO community. Let's help as many anglers, as many fishermen as we can, y'all. Hey, look, and I got a surprise coming for y'all in a couple of weeks. I think everybody's going to like it, especially the, the the anglers that are local to the East Texas area. I got a, a surprise. I really don't want to talk about it until the 19th of next month. I got a meeting with the city council. So hopefully within a few weeks, we are going to have an awesome surprise for everybody. And, uh, man. I've been praying about it for two months. God willing, it's going to go through. Anyway, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. As always, any any questions, anything I help you with, do not hesitate to reach out. It is my busy time of year. I've been running trips, uh, guided trips every single day. And uh, it may take me a minute to get back to you, but I promise I will. Appreciate it, guys and gals. Y'all have a good one.